A game without a crowd is just a scrimmage. A performance without an audience is just a rehearsal. Without your presence, high school sports and the performing arts aren't possible. Ensure that these essential extracurricular activities continue to enrich the lives of students in Texas. Purchase a ticket to your local high school's game or performance. This message presented by the UIL and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. Let's rock and roll. All right, we're good. We're live. Good evening, uh, ladies and gentlemen. We are in Post Texas for this uh, area round football game between the Spearman Lynx and the Alpine. You know, on their website, they're the they're the uh, antelopes, but I see that they call themselves the Bucks. Bucks. Yeah, I know they went by the Bucks. They're also purple, so it'll be purple on purple tonight. Obviously, they have white bottoms, purple, or white, yeah, white tops, purple, purple bottoms, bottoms, and we're all purple. We're in uh, full purple. Looks like we got Jack Pipkin, uh, Johan, Jack Davis, and Casey uh, Mackey will be the captains representing the Lynx at midfield. I, don't, I didn't check and see what the temperature is, but I guarantee everybody's bundled up. No one is in shorts. <clears throat> Not today. And uh, your broadcast team is in the elements. There are no windows in our broadcast booth. So if you hear our teeth chattering, please forgive us. <clears throat> Plenty of space up here, though. Can't complain about that. 
Yeah, we got AstroTurf. And uh, <clears throat> another, uh, we'll just apologize beforehand. There were no programs handed out at this game, so we will know our players, but uh, we'll just be calling numbers and positions for Alpine. Alpine comes in five and six. Is that correct? That is correct. Experiment four and seven on the year. Having uh, Alpine beat Brady last time and over or last Friday in overtime, 57-55. Yep. And likewise, they they were underdogs. Spearman Links uh, defeated Abernathy, 21-7. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Uh, and had them 21 goose egg until about the last what four, three or four minutes. I think they scored with like a minute 40 left on the on the clock. Wow. So. Uh, here's the uh, toss. He's talking to Alpine, so Alpine defers. All right. Alpine will defend the left goal. I guess that's going to be north. Spearman will uh, receive. Be to your right. I don't have to go back to old school radio this week. We will have video if any of your friends uh, want to tune in. If they were uh, disappointed last week, tell them we uh, are able to broadcast the video this week. There's a little fee that uh, the Booster Club uh, met with UIL and made this uh, broadcast possible with the live video and audio. Again, we are in Post, Texas. And here come the Spearman Links. Ready to rock and roll. <clears throat> I think it's interesting to note that both teams are coming off their best win of the season. So I think we're lined up for a pretty amped up game. <laughs> Will they? Is that we a will have jacket? What's that? Is that a Groover jacket down there? It probably could be. Man. No, actually, I saw that girl earlier. It's a C. Oh, okay. Maybe it's Cap Rock. Somebody's girlfriend. I don't know. So we will, uh, <laughs> as soon as the Spearman Lynx finish the fight song, we will have the national anthem. And I'm guessing the flags that way. That's yeah. the way the players are. We're kind of blocked. Okay, here we go. National anthem. All right, welcome back. The Spearman Lynx, uh, if I read that right, the Spearman Lynx will be receiving the opening kickoff. Get tonight's game started. This is the area round, having uh, defeated Albernathy in the by district, 21-7. <clears throat> and this is, uh, oh, I see there now, this is Jimmy Redmond Stadium. 
in Post, Texas. And the Spearman Links take the field. And the uh, Alpine Bucks break away from their coach and prepare to kick off. Alpine Bucks in their purple pants, white jerseys, gold helmets. Spearman Links uh, in their full purple uniforms tonight. I don't know our all-time record against Alpine, but I do know in 2014, 2014, I believe, we beat them in route to playing Cisco and then lost there, but we were undefeated at the time. And I believe that's the last time we matched up with Alpine. And we've got Mackey. And we've got a left-handed booter. Field. The ball is going to be fielded by Cason Mackey at his own 10-yard line. He's out to the 15, 20, still on his feet, 25. Running room out to the 30 and taken down near the 35-yard line. 25-yard return by Cason Mackey to get tonight's game started. Good run. Good run. Picking those holes. They do not look warm on that sideline. All right, links of... First possession of the evening. Mackey splits off, comes here to the near side. Got Shad Whiteley split off on the far side of the field. Well, I don't know what we're waiting on. Rest. Time clock. Okay, yeah. here we go. Working out of the shotgun. Handoff is going to go to Isaac Cervantes. He gets out beyond the 35 to the 38-yard line, maybe the 37. Nope, 38. We'll give him that yard. Gain of three. Sets up second down and seven. Ball on the Lynx, 38. This is the first possession of the evening. If you're just tuning in, 11:28 remaining in the first period of play here in Post, Texas at uh, Jimmy Redmond Stadium at Post High School. Speaking of Cervantes, he is this season's leading rusher so far. Again, out of the shotgun. Mackey in motion. Jack Davis uh, with the fake handoff. Jack gets to the 45, First 46. That's enough to move the sticks. <laughs> yep, move the sticks. First down, Jack Davis. What happened? Did that sound like something dropped? I don't. If it did, I don't know where it went. All right, Lynx uh, first down, first and ten at their own 46-yard line. Wide receivers out on both sides. Here's the snap back to Jack Davis on the keeper. He'll move it into uh, Ant Buck territory. to the Alpine 45-and-a-half yard line. Shad White, we've got triple uh, wides right here on the near side. Jack out of the shotgun, fires here to Cason Mackey. Cason bound to 45, down to the 40, pushed out of bounds inside the 40-yard line. Of Alpine. Good block by Cervantes there. And Whiteley. Another first down for the Lynx at the Alpine 38. The Lynx have gotten so good at that uh, misdirection. Yes, they have. The fake handoffs. Yeah, last week, luckily, we had screens to review plays because we were getting psyched all over. Davis out of the shotgun. Here we go. Here, Davis on the keeper. He hits a wall. <laughs> yeah. I maybe. Got back to the line. Yeah, just like. to the original line of scrimmage. So that's going to set up second and 10 at the Alpine 38. 9.51 remaining in the first period of play. No score here. This is the Lynx first possession of the evening if you're just now checking in. Link started this drive at the 35 yard, their own 35. Now they're into uh, Alpine territory to the Alpine 38. Excuse me, guys. Jack working out of the shotgun. <clears throat> Here's the snap. Jack takes it, runs to the right. Got opening. 
Jack gets inside. He breaks the tackle. He's in for six. I see no flags. Touchdown, Lynch. You There's a flag, flag right on the 40. On the 40? And the refs aren't moving. Uh-oh. And Winton looks very uh, unpleased. What's that going to be? I'm going to guess. Well. There's a flag on flag. the other side, too, Slade. Oh, ah, okay. So I don't know what they saw that we didn't see, but they are bringing it back. Well, he's talking to Davis now. Encroachment or offsides and then holding. So that'll be offsetting penalties. Okay. Oh, sorry. All right. Encroachment and holding. So that'll set up a second and 10. Ball back at the uh, Alpine 38. Mercy, that was an ice run by Jack. Yeah, that was. He was carrying about the whole team with him. Out of the shotgun. Here's the snap. Goes to Mackey. Mackey's got a little running room on the far side. He's at the 25. 30, 20, 15, 10, 5. Oh, oh. Knocked out of bounds just short wow. of the touchdown. What a run. So the ball was on the 38. They're going to place it at 36-yard pickup. Well, they say he went out at the 3. I'm sorry. So it's going to be a 35-yard pickup. 35-yard sprint there by Kaysen Mackey. The ball on the 3-yard line. First and goal at the three for the Lynx. Now the shotgun, direct snap to Jack. Jack Davis oh, up, boom! He goes in standing up. Touchdown, Lynx draw, first blood. Just like that, easy money. 8.58 remaining, so three minutes ticked off. Well, a little different than last week. Had some big plays turned in there, but scores a score. Links up by seven or six at this point. Brian Lopez, the kicker, lines up for the PAT. Here's the snap. Kick is up. Kick is. Looks to me like that's good. Yes, sir. So the score, 7-0 with 8.58 remaining in the first period of play. First National Bank can make home buying easy. Buyers have the option of two great products at First National Bank. Call or come in and visit our mortgage team and allow us to visit with you about how First National Bank can help you buy a home with ease. Also, interest rates are up, and First National Bank has some very competitive CD products. Check in with our staff and ask us about our step-up CDs. The rates on these CDs can be stepped up one time during the duration of the CD. First National Bank is a member of the FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. All right. Uh, got a message here from Toby Thompson. He reminds me that these uh, referees are from the Abilene chapter. Well, I don't know what that means, but okay. Maybe he's not a fan. Or maybe he is a fan. I believe this field runs north-south, if I was guessing. All right, the Lynx uh, prepare to kick off, having scored first. Up oh, seven zip. That's usually how you like to start your, your games. Deep men for Alpine will line up uh, near their 10-yard line. Here's the kick from Brian. Oh, that's going to be a nice boots. Fair catch, catch called it. at the 21 or 22. That was interesting. I wonder yeah, why. it was. Huh. All right. Well, the Alpine uh, Bucks with their first possession of the evening will set up shop at their own 22-yard line. Well, they're going to put it at 25. How come that happens? I don't understand that, Maybe they. Slade. Well, maybe that's a rule we missed out on this year. It's Must be. <laughs> All right, here comes Alpine. One wide receiver on the far side of the field. Now the shotgun. Handoff goes to the running back. He gets into the secondary out beyond the 30. Out to the 34, he's going to be yards short of a first down. 
As I mentioned, uh, as we went on the air, there were no programs available for us tonight, so we'll just be calling numbers and positions. Well, I could see this becoming a shootout based on Alpine's scores. They're usually involved in some high-scoring games throughout the season. Yeah, you're right, Slade. When Toby was still officiating, he said he worked with a couple of these guys on the field tonight. So he's a fan. All right. All right, Alpine to the line of scrimmage. Second down in inches. Out of the shotgun. Here's the snap. Running back takes the call. He'll move it up outside the 35 to the near, what are we going to say, 37-yard line. That'll be a first down. Alpine's first first down of the evening. Out beyond the 35. 7.53 remaining in the first period of play. Sloan Nolton comes off. Lynx lead 7-0 if you're just now tuning in. Thanks to the uh, Spearman Athletic Booster Club, we do have video this week with our audio. Here's the snap. Handoff goes to the same running back. And he gets out to the 40, and he's going to be stuffed right there. They say his forward motion took him to the 41. So that will set up a second and long five. Old school. He's a big power back, isn't he? Boy, he is. Uh, He's the one that called the fair catch. He is, yeah. (laughs) Maybe they decided that's the best way to start at 25 every time. I don't know. Well, I know. Maybe they want to avoid a fumble with that cold football. You know, you never know. Yeah, and if that rule applies, you get to 25 every time, why not? Oh, that could be. And then I know the UIL (laughs) wants to cut down on concussions and injuries on special teams. All right, again, now the shotgun. QB takes the snap. QB hands off to his running back. Oh, dang. This time he gets uh, out beyond the 45. And one referee says move it. The other one hadn't. Oh, now they come. Now they The other one didn't have it marked, but that's interesting. Oh, well. I believe that was 22 that time that was was the ball carrier. The ball at the 46-yard line, first down Alpine. Play clock down to 14 seconds. They do take now their they time. come to this line of scrimmage. Here's the snap. Handoff goes to the running back. 22, and that's a gain of four. You get out. Do you get into the Lynx territory? You yeah, did. did. About 49. the 49 and a half. They gain a five on that. No four. Got to set up a second down and six. Five and a half minutes remaining in the first. Score seven zero at this juncture. Link's lead in this area around. Seven zip. Man in motion, here's the snap. Pitch back goes to that man in motion. He's at the 50 and run out of bounds here on the near side. Oh, Oh, get to your own sideline, little guy. There is a flag. What what happened there? Blocking back, you see. (laughs) Holding offense. So holding offense. And they only they only gained four on that original play, so that'll put them back at a second and well, I think it was oh, it a must spot be a foul. spot foul. Yeah. So it's a second and thirteen. It occurred past the line of scrimmage. Yeah, second and thirteen. Ball back at the forty-three. Now, is the hot chocolate turned to ice yet, there, Slate or Rylan? Probably. <laughs> Just milk chocolate, chocolate milk now. <laughs> All right, here we go. Second down and 13. The ball is the 43-yard line after the penalty. Here's the snap. Rolls back Pepkin to pass. And Pepkin takes him down at the 30-yard line, baby. There we go. Jack Pipkin with the sack. 
And that's not just a sack, baby. That's a huge one. That was a statement right there. Yes, sir. -y. That uh, quarterback's been rolling out like that all night. Every time he hands off, he does that. So trying to do a little misdirection there against the links, and it didn't work. Jack Pipkin in there immediately. Four minutes remaining in the first period of play. Now we have uh, third down and 10, 20, about 25. Here's the snap. Handoff goes to the running back this time. He gets out beyond the 35. He's going to be stuffed at the 38. That'll set up a fourth down and about 20. And the punting unit comes on. Shad Whiteley for the Lynx will be the deep man to accept the punt. Him and his gold cleats. Atta boy, Shad. What a comeback after sitting out for eight games. Yes, sir. Here's the snap and the punt. Oh, no, let her go, Shad. Yeah, it kind yeah. of bounced on him the wrong way at the last moment. So the ball will be spotted, I think it's going to be the 22, the Lynx 22-yard line. 310 left on that clock, 7-0, Lynx lead. First quarter. Sorry about the sniffles, folks. <laughs> we are in the elements tonight. Uh, this uh, press booth does not have windows in it. 3-10, remaining in the first period. The Lynx lead 7-0. Here they come to the line of scrimmage. No wide receivers. Everybody in tight this time. Direct snap goes to Casey Mackey. He's got running room here on the near side. Out to the 30, and that's where it's going to go stop. Oh, actually, the 25, excuse me. A little, what, two-yard pickup sets up a second and eight. Well, maybe three. They gave him an extra. All right, second and seven. 250 remaining. Eddie Morrison on the tackle, whoever that was. Well, I don't know how that guy got a. Yeah, what, what is he doing right Program, doing we wrong. didn't get one. Here's the snap and the quick handoff. That's Chad Whiteley. That's Chad Whiteley and Chad at the 40, 35, 30. I can't even keep up with the man. He touched down links. Ball was at the 25. That's a 70 yard, 75 yard run by Shad Whiteley. Easy money. And that was kind of a little reverse, wasn't it? Yeah, no, it was a, a counter play. It looked like he cut this way and then ended up coming back through the hole. No work well. Link seven. <laughs> All right, Whiteley, the uh, holder. Brian Lopez, the kicker for the PAT. Here's the snap, kick, kick is up, and that one's good, good. too. 14-0, the Lynx lead and with two minutes, 22 seconds remaining in the first period of play. Slade? H&H &H Water Well Service and Spearman provides professional pump irrigation and water well services. H&H &H installs new pumps and gearheads, or they will service and repair your existing equipment. Their machine shop is staffed with an experienced machinist, and they guarantee fast, reliable service. Plus, H&H &H is fully insured for your protection and peace of mind. Feedlot cities, farmers, and ranchers depend on H&H &H Water Well Service. H&H &H is located on Highway 15, just south or just west <coughs> of Spearman. Call 659-5577 for your water well needs. We thank Jerry Holton and his crew for sponsoring the Lynx and Lynx sets in all seasons and activities. Coming into tonight's game, uh, Shad had 23 yards rushing. He's now up to 100 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in one play. Goes from 23 plus 75. I don't know what that was, but they threw it. Oh, they're, they're, they're white balls. They're white footballs. That are purple. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> my, my fingers are icicles. <laughs> All right, here we go. Lynx prepare to kick off. Deep men back at near their 15-yard uh, line this time. 
Oh, that's a good boot by Brian. That gives the Lynx plenty of time to get downfield. Oh, fair catch. And another fair catch called at the 28 Eight. this time. Now they're saying 29, I guess. All right. Yep, 29. All right. Lynx on defense. This is the second possession of the uh, – for the Bucks, for the Alpine Bucks, 222 remaining in the first period of play. The Lynx lead 14-0. <laughs> and here come the Bucks. Out of the shotgun. Quarterback hands off to his running back. He's got running room, number 20. Oh, dang. Go after him, Isaac Cervantes. a boy. And he's run out of bounds near the 35. Yeah, 35-yard line. First down, Alpine. A little sprint there. Number 20. By 20. Hadn't called his number tonight. We have not. So they move the ball quickly down the field to the Lynx 35-yard line. 214 remaining in the first. Lynx lead 14-0. Well, they definitely have some playmakers on the offensive side of the ball. That boy had a set of wheels on him, yeah, too. he did. It's a good thing Isaac was over there on that side. Yeah. <clears throat> Back to the line of scrimmage. Out of the shotgun. Handoff goes oh, running back. Wow, and here, oh, boy, Bray Puentes put the whammy on number 20 that time for a loss. That'll set up a second down and 13. Two minutes remaining in the first. Ball back out to the 38-yard line now. Man, Bray was in there quickly. That was a good play. It Lynx was. have had some, made some good defensive plays all year. And you mentioned it last night, you know, two, what, two touchdowns? And they, it could have been instead of a, a season of uh, two and seven, or two and eight, three and seven, it could have been seven and three. three. Yeah, yeah, two touchdowns. Man in motion, here's the snap. Pitch goes to that man in motion, number 21. Oh. Boom, taken down on the far side of the field. Again, behind the line of scrimmage, no gain on that one. I think that was Cervantes. Spare my links. Not afraid of cold weather. In fact, they lost a yard on that one, Slade. It's going to set up a third and 14. Yep. Minute remaining. Yeah, you know, I don't know what the weather was like in Alpine this week, but our boys were practicing in sub-50 weather all week. It was not a warm one no. in Spearman, Texas. And survived the snow bowl. <laughs> they survived. Yep, they played in the snow bowl. There we go. Out of the shotgun. Here's the snap. Quarterback rolls to his right, looking for a receiver downfield. Fires <laughs> incomplete. Good pressure. Jack Pipkin yeah. right up in his grill. Good pressure from Jack Pipkin there. 31 seconds now. Fourth down. Clock stops. And the kicking unit comes out. Interesting. Curious choice. Either they have one heck of a field goal kicker or <laughs> they're going to try to pin us back. <laughs> and I think they're going to try to pin us back. Well, that's what that referee's planning on back there. Yeah. <laughs> Chad's planning on it. Of course, if it rolls out the end zone, you're at 25. Here's the snap. Good kick. High. Fair, fair, fair catch, catch by Shad Whiteley, and he does catch it at the 11. Not a bad punt. Boy, I didn't think he's going to get his arm up in time. <laughs> he was he was cutting it close. So the clock. Well, is that 25 seconds? Well, now that's interesting. We have to take it. Oh, maybe it's just on the kickoff that, that they get that back out to the 25. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll be okay when I wake up. 25 <laughs> seconds remaining in the first period of play. The score 14-0. Links at their own 11-yard line. First down. Here's the snap. Snap. Uh, direct snap to Kaysen Mackey. And Kaysen gets out beyond the 15 to about the 16-yard line. Gain of four. Clock, uh, game, game clock down to nine seconds now. Play clock at 30. I think they'll just let her run out. And they are, our sidelines are already moving. Yeah. Well, 
at the end of the quarter. Spearman leads 14-0 over Alpine. And a word from our sponsors. James and Kiki Conley would like to say good luck, links and linksettes. We encourage and support you in all your athletic and academic endeavors. Skyland Grain proudly supports our links and our linksettes. Skyland Grain is happy to help you with all your grain, cotton, and agronomy needs. We have grain facilities, cotton, gins, and agronomy departments that offer a variety of seeds, chemicals, fertilizers, and application. Please contact any of our employees with, for any of your needs. We wish the links and links that's another successful year. One team, one dream. Thank you to both James and Kiki Conley and Skyland Grain for proudly supporting the Spearman Links Booster broadcast. Ooh. Yes, sir, Reed Bobby Sachs. It's a football weather. <laughs> it is. I don't know that we've played one this cold, though, in a hot minute. Of course, we're up in the press box, so I don't know. Well, it, most of the time. Yeah, yeah, we got the wind in our face. And today we're a little, a little chillier than usual. But All right, so the uh, ball uh, at the 16-yard line sets <laughs> up a second down and five for the Lynx. Ball at their own 16-yard line, I might add. Beginning of the second period of play here. Here's the snap, direct snap to Kaysen Mackey. Kaysen's got a hole over here. He's at the 25, 30, 40, 50. Down inside the 40-yard oh. line. Yes, sir. To the 39. Well, they say his knee hit the 40, I guess, is what yep. they're going to call. Ball was at the 16. That was a dominant 35, that 40, about a 45 yard run. Monster of a stiff arm. <laughs> I like that direct snap, Kaysen. Yeah, it's been working tonight. Line opening many holes. Here's the snap to Jack Pipkin. Jack uh, goes in. And it was to Davis, Jack Davis. I mean, da Davis, darn it. My brain's frozen, Slade. <laughs> <laughs> you and Ernie are going to have to keep me straight tonight. Ball uh, inside the 30 at about the 34 and a half yard line. Sets up a second and five. Mackey in, Davis out. I like the way that Witten's switching this up in these last three or four games. Yep. Really 10 58. Together. Direct snap to Kaysen Mackey. Kaysen finds a little running room right up the middle. Fight. He's going to be inside okay, the. Inside the 30, that should be enough for a first down. Yep, move those chains. There we go, gentlemen. Ball at the 29. Ball at the 29 yard line of Alpine. 10 and a half minutes remaining in the first half of play. The Lynx lead 14 0 if you're just now checking in. Davis back into the game. Davis in the shotgun. Here's the snap. Ooh. And flags fly. Ball start, maybe. <laughs> yep, that's what it is. Somebody moved on the offense. Yeah, That'll set nice. up a first and 15. Ball to 34. Back to the line of scrimmage, the links go. Here's the snap. Jack Davis with the keeper. Finds an opening around the far side. Ooh. Flags fly, but it must be a holding call. Yeah, he threw that thing way near that line of scrimmage. Yep. Uh-oh. And Jack's getting up a little slow, Slade. Oh, shoot. Yeah, he's favoring that arm. I bet I know that exact feeling. <laughs> we'll take a moment here. Well, with that, we could recognize a couple of sponsors. Ag Texas looking for a strong ag lender. Contact Ag Texas Farm Credit Services today for flexible loan programs with competitive interest rates to meet all of your agricultural financing needs. At Ag Texas, we specialize in farm and livestock, agribusiness, real estate, and equipment loans, plus crop insurance. We are 
a co-op, so when you borrow money from us, you become an owner, and as an owner, you participate in our dividend program, returning our profits back to you. Learn more about Ag Texas Farm Credit Services today by visiting our website at www.agtexas.com or giving Brad Thacker a call at 806-376-4669. All right, he's up. There, he's up. He's up and walking on his own own power. Own power. At Ag Texas, we're dedicated to the prosperity of agriculture and rural America. Ag Texas Farm Credit, your success, our purpose. Thank you to Ag Texas. And All right. I don't see him favoring a, a leg. Or a shoulder. But he does have to come out for one play, correct? Uh, yes, and I'm, I know he has shoulder issues that were similar to mine. And just kind of any moment, you take a hit the wrong way, you get pulled the wrong way, they will pop loose on you and pop back in and it is the most burning sen sensational pain you'll ever feel in your life you feel numb for about three minutes and you don't want to do anything all right after the holding call that puts the ball back out at the 44 yard line of the of the uh, alpine bucks Direct snap goes to Kaysen Mackey. Kaysen finds a little running room around the far side. He's at the 40, inside the 40, and near the 35 before he's pushed out of bounds on the far side of the field. Is there a flag? I believe there is. Right there yep. on the 40. Yep, it sure is. Another one. Let's see. I think it's going to be another holding call, Slade. Grammy sent us a fire. The... <laughs> Warm yeah. your mind. Thank you, Grammy. <laughs> yeah. Dad, gum it. And that is going to send us back another 10, I believe. Wow. Yeah. See, that moves us back into Lynx territory to the Lynx 46. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I don't even know how to count that high. That is first in five ever. Put them in your Levi's next to your legs. Okay, here's that line shift from the right to the left-hand side. Everybody's set. Mackey with the uh, carry. Oh, Mackey he's fighting. Oh. Gets uh, back into Alpine territory. Gain of five? I'm so we got One, two, three, 10, four, 20. Man, that's going to be about uh, almost 30 yards, second and 30. Yeah, second and what, well, 28. No, 29. Excuse me. Nine minutes remaining in the first half now. Links back into Alpine territory at the 48. Second down. Working out of the shotgun. Line shift over to the right now. Mackie's still back there. Here's the snap. And the handoff goes to Shad Whiteley. Shad's on his feet. Gets uh, inside the 45. Mackey took the snap, and the handoff went to Shad. <laughs> so that sits up a third down now, and still very long. About right. the 45-yard line of the Alpine. Davis returning yeah. back to the game. Davis in. Ethan Caro back in the game. I think they went to their heavy package. That must not include Davis. Javian came out. <laughs> Caro in. Here's the snap to Jack. Jack uh, with the keeper on the far side. Fires downfield. Complete. Jack Over Pipkin. there to Jack Pipkin. Gets back in. Uh, that'll set up a much more manageable. Fourth down board. and ten. Or, uh, excuse me, fourth and five, five probably. Yeah. Well, ball at the 25. It must have not been his throwing shoulder that. Yeah. He threw that just fine. Running left. Yeah, run it, yeah, across his body. Good throw. Fourth and five, the ball on the Alpine 25. Mackey and Davis out of the shotgun. Line shift over to the right side. Long snap count. Tried to pull him off. And timeout. Yeah, timeout. That one guy jumped, but he got back. Yeah, it's Witten's not a fan of snapping it unless they – he, he's not a fan of snapping on a uh, freeze play. He's more of a let them hit us, 
we'll take it that way, and if not, we'll call the timeout. And with the timeout, we'll uh, visit one of our sponsors. Farm Supply and Service is a place to go for oil changes, wheel alignments, auto repair services, and professional in the house, on the road, and in the field tire services. Full serve and self-serve pumps meet your fuel needs at Farm Supply. And if you haven't done so already, try their self-serve and soft touch splash and dash car wash. Farm Supply and Service at 415 Collard and Sherman. Their phone number is 659-5519. Thank you to Farm Supply and Service for sponsoring these broadcasts. What would you guys do? Share those gloves? One got on the right glove and one got on the left. <laughs> yeah, poor, poor Chapo up there. Over there, he looks like he's a live <laughs> He looks like an Eskimo. He's bundled up yeah. so over there. <laughs> oh, Ernie, he's got a hand warmer on one hand, glove on the other. Oh, I got you. All right, here we go, folks. Fourth down facing the Lynx. They need five yards. They lead this thing 14-0 at this point. Jack Davis rolls to his right, complete to Jack Pipkin. Oh, that ball comes out. Oh, right. Oh. Recovered by the Lynx. It was a five-yard pickup on the fumble. Yeah. I don't know that that was initially a first <laughs> down, but. Recovered by Shad Whiteley down at the 10-yard line. That oh. should. Well, we got a flag? No, I don't think so. Well, nobody's moving no chain. Oh, there they go. All right, here we go. First down, they say it's at the 50. Oh, okay. Okay, I got you. Jack Davis with the carry. Jack at the 10-5. Touchdown. That's a horse collar, but hey, who am I? Touchdown, Lynx. Seven minutes remaining in the first half of play. I figured out that what they said, I guess the... Uh, Jack was down when the ball came out, so oh, they moved okay. it back to the 15th. Here's the snap. Kick is up. Man, that one looks like it's good, too. So 21-0 with seven minutes remaining in the first half of play here in Post, Texas. First Eight Bank has been a proud supporter of Lynx Athletic and Academics since our beginning. First Eight Bank is excited to help back the Lynx Whew. and Lynx sets all the way to victories this season. For your banking needs, call First State Bank at 806-659-5565. All right. Thank you to First State Bank for supporting these broadcasts. 21-0, the Lynx lead here in the first half of play. we got seven minutes to go in the first half. So the Lynx came out fighting. They're fired up. Well, I think the Lynx or trying to spoil any Thanksgiving plans you may have. <laughs> but it's a fun time to play. It is. I've been there before. Uh, been broadcasting this so long that uh, I've broadcast many post-Thanksgiving games. And Brian gets a good kick. It's going to be fair catch called at the 29-yard line. That is are. interesting. Yeah. Actually, they say it's a 28. So Alpine will set up shop at their own 28-yard line with seven minutes remaining in the first half of play. Take it a little. Their poor old field is so worn it almost looks shiny. Yeah. Over there, looks like, I thought there was ice over there at first. <clears throat> yeah, Post could use a uh, turf upgrade. Did you see uh, the NFL? There's some players trying to get them to stop using that one kind of turf. Yeah, yeah. It causes It ACL. cuts them or something? Yeah. Yeah. causes injuries? All right, 21-0. Alpine to the line of scrimmage. First down. Here's the snap. Handoff goes to the running back. And he is... Uh, Stuffed after a two-yard pickup. Sets up a second down and eight. Ball on the 30. Well, so far, far the physicality of the Lynx has been just dominant over Alpine. They have been no match up front. <clears throat> I 
And we like to see that. I'll just say I've seen a lot more Alpine bodies thrown around than I have Lynx bodies. 6.20 remaining now. Here they come to the line of scrimmage. Out of the shotgun, QB puts a man in motion. Takes the snap. Fires downfield deep Ooh. and broken up by Case and Mackey. Dang. Awesome defense. That was great coverage. He almost got two hands on that. Man, yeah, he just reached up there and, well, not today. Not today, Mr. Two. A little cold to be passing. That was awesome coverage. That was, yeah. 6.07 now with the clock stopped after the incomplete pass. Third down and eight. Ball is the 30. Man in motion. Here's the snap. Oh, oh and wow. Jack Pipkin again. <laughs> Another big loss. Jeez. That'll set up a fourth down for the uh, Bucks. You want to talk about physical. Fourth and 13. Puts the ball back at the 25-yard uh, <clears throat> line. Oh, cover that back plate, Chad. <laughs> Here's the kick. Oh, it's going to hit at the 50 and take a Lynx bounce back to the uh, 45. Awesome. So the Lynx will set up shop in Buck territory at the, at the Buck 45 with 525 remaining in the first half of play. There's some napkins right there. You need a Kleenex. <laughs> Here we go. Out of the shotgun. Oh, Ooh. and a drop ball by Jack Davis. Picks it up, though. He's still on his feet. Ah. And a flag. <laughs> he Superman dive for that one. Wow. Wow. I don't know what that flag was, but that. Okay, holding Spearman. Weak holding ball. That's what it was. That's okay. That'll back them up to the uh, into Lynx territory at their own 45. Still first down. Mackey comes to the near side. Whiteley on the far side of the field. Here's the snap to Jack. It's going to go to Isaac. It's going to be a pitch, a reverse to Shad Whiteley. Shad at the 40, still on his feet, 30, inside the 30-yard line, first down links. Handoff went to uh, Isaac, and a pitch to Shad Whiteley, a pickup inside the 30-yard line for the links, first down. You know, we haven't got to see a whole lot of him this season, but he really does have a set of wheels on him. Chad? Yes. Yeah, yeah. And a timeout called by Alpine. <clears throat> Your independent insurance agency in Spearman is the Hansford Agency located at 16 Southwest Court, just south of the Hansford County Courthouse. The Hansford Agency is prepared to help you with home, auto, crop, and life insurance coverages as your independent insurance agency, Hansford Agency, can turn to several companies to meet your needs. The unique service offered at the Hansford Agency is insurance coverage for your vehicle and liability insurance when you travel to Mexico. This coverage is an extension of your current auto policy, so it doesn't matter what company your insurance is with or where you purchase your current policy. For quotes or more information, see Burrow or Roger Buchanan at the <coughs> Hansford Agency or call 659-3888. All right, folks, four and a half minutes remaining in this first half of play. The Lynx lead 21-0. They are at the Alpine 28-yard line. First down. As we go back to play, Jack Davis in at the QB slot, working out of the shotgun. Isaac Cervantes split off here. He's on the near side. Isaac now goes in motion. The pitch goes to Isaac. Isaac uh, looking for running room, and he is caught from behind for a loss. 
took a little too long to. Yeah, just uh, strung him out there and gave a decision. The defensive man time to get back there. That was a Sets big up boy a second down and thirteen. Yeah, <laughs> that, that, look at him. Yeah, as I mentioned, we don't have program for these guys, but that front front five for uh, Alpine, pretty big boys. Yes. Here's the snap. Jack Davis on the keeper. Uh, he'll get down near the 25-yard line. Should set up a uh, third and third and what seven? Six. Six. Yep. No seven. You're right. I'm wrong. You're right. Less than four minutes now left to play in this first period. I'm glad these guys are keeping the thing on the ground, Slade. <laughs> Keep that clock moving. Here's the snap. Direct snap goes to Cason Mackey. Cason on his feet. And that's He's going to be six. Cason Mackey in for the uh, touchdown from the 25-yard line. 25-yard sprint by Cason Mackey. Right around the right side of the line. 27-0, 329. Hell. Yeah, wow. I think we may be uh, looking good here for a little bit. Whitely the holder, Brian the kicker. Here's the kick. Kick is up. Kick is oh, good. I don't know. That nope, can come to the it. near side. Yep. Don't so, we. with 3:29 remaining in the first half, 27-0 the score. Links lead. Slade. High Plains Auto is now under new ownership. We offer services such as front end alignments, minor and major mechanical repairs. We also sell automotive as well as irrigation parts. Located at 118 Main in Spearman, Texas, 806-659-2506. Go Lynx. We'll get to the sports zone next, but thank you to High Plains Auto. We should have bought some of them hand warmers today, Rylan. I should have just when we saw them. Yeah, <clears throat> I had a bunch of shoes at home. I used to keep them in my backpack, but when I went to the airport, I took them out. Those illegal? I didn't know. I didn't want to test. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know those things could or were uh, flammable. Yeah, or I don't know if you make those chemicals some kind of bomb. I don't know. All right, Brian prepares to kick off. And here's the boot. Man, that's, that's boot. a nice one. That one's going to be fielded at the 15. No fair call this time. Out to the 25. Still on his feet. 30. Gets out beyond the 30-yard line. Started at the 15, about an 18-yard return by the Alpine. Yeah, with boots like that, go for something to happen. Good job. Well, Alan, I'm not sure what the temperature is here. I can just tell you it's dang cold. And... Alpine, uh, they were they were the fourth seed in their district coming into this thing. I believe so. And, uh, Brady was first. Another, it was Something an upset like, like ours. Not only like that. I mean. So three and a half minutes remaining. Here's the snap. Handoff goes to the running back number twenty, Jack Pipkin, on his tail. Flags fly. Well, yeah. Probably on Javian over there holding. Not on Javian, but. Yeah, number 78 was like laying on him. Yeah. You can pancake, but you can't smother him. <laughs> Once you get him down, there's no no further uh, messing around. To answer Alan's question, it is 32, but feels like 21 here in post. Yep. So it's freezing. Yeah, it was a holding call. It's going to be a spot foul. That'll put him back inside the 30. Wow. Get to the 25. Yep, 10 yards, line of scrimmage. It was. Yeah, it was I right there was on right the there. line, so. But it was on JV in there. Yeah, it's not, uh, you're not waiting for the referee to hit the, the mat 10 times. No. <laughs> it's not wrestling. Back to the line of scrimmage. Sets up at first and 20. Here's the snap. Quarterback drops. He's looking for a receiver. Now he's being chased by Bray oh. Puentes and caught by Bray Puentes. 
Oh, sorry. 20. It's on the 15 now. Whoa. And timeout. So, holy cow. And the Lynx call timeout with two minutes remaining in the first half of play. That's about a 20-yarder, I believe, 25. Holy moly. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, there's 10. There's 20. No, it's more like almost 30. Oh, 30. Okay. Second and 30. Wow. Ball to 15. All these sacks. Yeah, are... well, it is because they've got to get to the 45, Slade. See? Yeah, you're right. 45 minus so second and 30, Alpine on their own 15-yard line with 2.55 remaining in the first half of play. Lynx called this time out. I believe that was their first. Yes. No, second. Was it? They called one for that freeze play. Yeah, post 32 feels like 24. Yep. Is that what you said? Yeah, about. So it is definitely freezing. <laughs> literally. Yeah, literally. But, um. All these sacks are really a good sign of good coverage. That quarterback's just been sat a little time in the pocket, and then no one open. And we are taking good advantage of that. Now back to your regular scheduled programming. All right, second and uh, thirty. Alpine sends a man in motion. The handoff. Uh, He's eating up. No, nope. eating a lot. Take it and a fumble. Oh. Isaac, Isaac Cervantes picks it up. They're in for a touch. Wow, that was quick action by I Isaac. And we're not kicking. We're going for two. We're putting the dagger on them. Go for two. Yeah, we're going to make up for that missed kick. Right now, the score stands 33-0-204. Lynx lead. And they will line up for two. It's going to be a direct snap to Kaysen. And Kaysen going to pitch it right over. And I think it is. Did he drop it? Oh, oh yeah, he caught, caught it. it. That was a mess, but... It came up with two. It was uh, just uh, – Kaysen took the snap, stood up, pitched it over, and I think I think it was – was it Jack Pipkin? I couldn't tell who it was caught it. Yeah, it was. All right. That was a cool play. So that makes the score 35-0 with two minutes remaining in the first half. Oh, well, boy. We'll do one. That, uh, Spearman's ready to go. So I'll, I'll get to our advertisers. Next stoppage. Yeah, we're ready. They're cold. They're saying, let's yeah, get in the locker room. Let's go to the locker room. Warm up a little bit. Come back. Please don't throw the ball, Alpine. Take some more names. <laughs> <laughs> Gold balls healed heartbreak. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mariah. You just enjoy that fireplace, honey. <laughs> Here's the kick. Fair catch. Fair catch uh, at about the 28-yard line. <laughs> yeah, you're right, Terrell Brummett. Total domination at this point. Yeah. Is he in Houston? Is it a lot of uh, He's in Round Rock. Oh, okay. That's close enough. It's still probably about 40 times warmer than it is here. I saw someone from Houston post on Twitter the other day that it was no longer shorts weather, and it was like maybe 68. Oh. <laughs> 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 well, they shut the schools down when it just, uh, you know, flurries. A little different down there. All right. Alpine to the line of scrimmage. Here's the handoff. Went to the uh, running back. It's nowhere. He gets out to the 29 maybe. Oh, no. Yeah. Yard. yeah, 29. Yeah. So a two-yard pickup sets up a second and eight, but they didn't start the clock. What the heck happened there? Can't say home team bias. No. No, maybe the well, that guy's, still a little Well, that guy something. in there, yeah, he's got open windows just like we do. His <laughs> fingers are probably frozen <laughs> also. 
Minute 40. Well, they're in no hurry, I'll tell you that much. Play clock down to nine seconds. Here's the snap. Drop, fires to the right. Complete on the far side. Isaac slows him up a little bit. And then Shad Whiteley comes out, comes down to finish him off. <clears throat> so that'll set up a third down in one, two, three. Minute 20 remaining in the first half. Ball at the uh, Alpine 35-yard line, third down. Yeah, I'm glad that uh, we were able to do the video screen this week. The Booster Club uh, paid UIL's fee to do that. And the handoff went to the running back, but he was stuffed. And I'm going to say that's a bit of about a yard loss. Yes, I bet they beat this clock. and then Fourth um, down, and what's happening? Winton calls a timeout to stop that clock, and I guess I'm sure he gets the ball back. All right, 39 seconds remaining in the first half of play. 35-0, the Lynx lead. Another super supporter of the Spearman Lynx and Lynx Sets is the Sports Zone in Spearman. If your school, organization, team, or family gathering is in need of custom T-shirts, stickers, uniforms, bags, hats, or mementos, the Sports Zone is ready to fill your order. Custom printing on banners, decals, jerseys, and drink cups is also available. Are you looking for school sports or commercial advertising products? The Sports Zone is your go-to provider. They are located on Highway 207, just south of the Windmill Park. Call 644-9663 or find their website at thesportszone.net. Many thank yous to former Lynx and Lynx at Chad and Minnie Riggins and the rest of the crew out there at Sports Zone. All right, here we are. Uh, almost a half. Spring Lynx lead 35 zip. Stratford Elks over Cisco at this point. They're at halftime already, 8-7. Rest of the games that uh, I'm monitoring tonight, Canadian, uh, Childress, and the Randall Raiders, they start at 7 o'clock, which is uh, right about now. So we can bring you some updated scores on those guys in a little while. <laughs> 48 seconds remaining. Here's the snap and the punt. It's good, and we'll see. Shad will let it bounce. Shad's going to pick it up and go. It's at 35, 40, 45, 50, 40. 35, 30, oh, still on his feet, 20, 15, oh, okay. touchdown, Shad Whiteley. No trash, I don't believe. No, no yellow flags that I see, buddy. He took that thing at about the 35, so that's a 65-yard return. Wow. Punt return for Shad Whiteley. I'm telling you, the kid has come alive. He, didn't, he wasn't able to play the first eight games of the season. And we've seen nothing but great things out of him these last games. Interceptions, lockdown coverage, and now touchdowns. Back to the PAT. The kick is up, and I think that one is good. It is. <clears throat> so that should uh, put the score 42-0, 33 seconds remaining in the first half of play. Hanser County Veterinary Hospital is proud to offer high-quality preventative medical and surgical care for animals of all sizes with 24-hour day availability. We strive to be there to meet all of our clients' needs. Hanser County Veterinary Hospital is in Spearman at 405 County Road 24. They are grateful for the opportunity to serve the people of this area and support the activities of the Lynx and Lynx X. Thank you to Hanser County Veterinary Hospital. All right. <coughs> it's an exciting night tonight for the Spearman Lynx and the most especially for the Spearman Lynx fans. And I tell you, uh, Spearman Lynx fans turned down in they Man, showed up well. We got a bunch of fans. For a three and a half hour drive, we did not shy away. The ball uh, will be kicked by Brian Lopez. Alpine's deep men back at their 15 again. Here's the boot. Looks like it's a uh, fair catch did get called that time, Slade. Out at the uh, 21, maybe the 22. 21 and a half. Yep. <laughs> so, uh. First down, Alpine at their own 21 and a half yard line and with they, 33 seconds to work here. They can kneel it if they want and send yep. us a half or try to make something happen. If I'm a coach, I'm probably going to try to make something happen in the playoffs, but hey, who am I? Alpine breaks away from their coach on the far side of the field. 
Link's already lined up and ready to play. And there they, it looks like victory formation almost, doesn't it? Yep. No. Here's not. the snap. Nope. Handoff goes to the running back. He gets out to the 35, still on his feet, and taken down here by Cy. Nope. No, that's Jack, Jack Davis, not Cy. Well, Cy's Cy right there, there with him. <laughs> okay. But it was Jack Davis on the tackle. And they are in no rush to get up to that line. 14, 13, 20. Yeah, I think they're just going to let her run out, Slade. There we go. They're looking to the sideline. That did kind of look like victory formation. I wonder if they're trying maybe a little trickery down yep, there. Yeah, could have been. <clears throat> so here we are at halftime, folks. The Spearman Lynx, 42-0. Wow. I believe that might be our biggest lead at half this year. Coming in the biggest game of the year. Yep. Well, hey, uh, you want to be looking for some uh, items for your Thanksgiving dinner? I want you to visit Lowe's there in Spearman. Uh, they've got uh, some great deals. Uh, if you have the uh, digital coupon, if you've downloaded the Lowe's, uh, if you downloaded the Lowe's app. Uh, you can get $10 off any grade A basted turkey with that uh, coupon. Oh, yeah, that's right. Want to be sure and get this out there. You can also donate to a family if you'd like. They have the Thanksgiving meal donation bag for $10 uh, to get some uh, green beans, get uh, cream of mushroom soup, French fried onions, a whole kernel corn, uh, cut sweet yams, marshmallows, cornbread stuffing turkey gravy mix so for 10 bucks you can help feed a family uh, just go by Lowe's there and uh, they've got those uh, bags uh, sitting at each checkout stand and tell the girls that you want to make a donation buy one two one man went in there I think and bought 20 the other day that's what uh, Raul is telling me uh, it, also if you have that digital coupon you can get free with any uh, purchase uh, food club cake mix that's a 16.5 ounce mix oh and here's a good one too uh with a additional with a ten dollar purchase you can get free a six pack of gold peak tea so uh, visit the uh, low store between now and uh, thursday actually they'll be closed and let their families uh, visit or enjoy Thanksgiving with their families. But uh, lots of good specials there at Lowe's and uh, friendly service. Of course, they're located in the Plain Shopping Center there in Spearman. Here's one while I'm just going down this thing here. Jimmy Dean Sausage, $3.99 for a 16-ounce roll, uh, Two twenty nine a pound for a Cook's Shank portion ham if you're into ham instead of turkey. Got your veggies, celeries, and cranberries, cucumbers. So again, we have a opportunity to have a nice Thanksgiving courtesy of Lowe's and some special deals and some free deals if you have their digital coupons. So I'll tell you what, uh, Slade and I are going to take a break here, <laughs> knock the icicles off, and we'll be back when the second half starts, folks. A game without a crowd is just a scrimmage. A performance without an audience is just a rehearsal. Without your presence, high school sports and the performing arts aren't possible. Ensure that these essential extracurricular activities continue to enrich the lives of students in Texas. Purchase a ticket to your local high school's game or performance. This message presented by the UIL and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association.
All right, welcome back to uh, Spearman Links football. The Spearman Links lead here as we start the second half of play, 42-0. Got to work around that. Ski gloves aren't good for finesse. Links uh, are on the field. They're ready to go. The uh, I bet they are. Alpine Bucks have now come out of their tunnel. It's cold. You're up 42 to zero. Last time we checked, it was 32. Wind chill 24. I bet that's dropped a little by now. 42-0 the score. The Lynx uh, will kick off to start the second half of play. Well, it's been a pretty fast-paced game for the Lynx. I don't think they've punted yet. And they have a defensive touchdown. Well, kind of two. They have a special teams touchdown and then a defensive touchdown and then a few offensive touchdowns. Been lots of thrills. <coughs> yes, the Lynx did come into this thing uh, with a good attitude, fired up and ready to go. They found their spark. Yeah, our, <laughs> our speech has worked. Yeah. We're not like Byron, who's 0-2 <laughs> or something like that. All right, here we go, folks. Got to get the second half of play underway. And the boot. It's going to be fielded at the 18-yard uh, line out to the 25. Pipkin over there and takes him down at the 30. Ball's out. Ball's out, recovered by the Lynx. Let's see. I don't see an official designation yet. I don't either. The Lynx are saying it was out. But the chains are pointing otherwise. And that will be. Well, I guess they say he was down. Yep, they're going to claim he was down. The ground knocked it out. Yeah, I don't so know. So everybody got excited for nothing. 42-0, 11-53 remaining, and Alpine maintains possession of the ball. Be a little loud? Yeah. All right, here we go. Here's the snap. Handoff goes to the running back. He maybe picks up about three or four. So, yep, that picks up four yards, sets up a second and six. The ball out to the 33-yard line. Eleven and a half minutes remaining in the third period here. If you're just checking back in. Well, uh, over the last two weeks, Spearman has, or three, up to this point, we've allowed, what, three touchdowns, two touchdowns? Yep. Been very favorable. Here's the snap. Handoff goes to the running back. Boom. Oh, and now it's ball out, ball, ball out, and Jack Davis recovers. Jack Davis recovers the fumble. There this go. time, no questions about it. So the Lynx recover at the Alpine 38-yard line. First down, Lynx. There's our favorite number 16 out there, Slade. No gloves. Risky. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the snap. In motion. Sloan in motion. Oh, he gets, Sloan the, ball. gets the ball. That's Sloan the at the 40. Sloan out and runs. He's at the uh, near the 30. Hold on that ball, Slade. There Sloan. 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 Slade. 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 Slade's not there. Rylan, Corbin, over. Lauren, whoever. <laughs> that was a gain of eight. Sloan Knowlton on the carry. There we go. PA giving. PA, PA guy. Yeah. PA guy here has done a good <clears> job. Don't. Props uh, to him. Don't let that give you the swell head there, Sloan. Keep your head in the game, buddy. Oh, I'll be I'll be here to make sure that doesn't happen. <laughs> Don't worry. Eight yard pickup by Sloan sets up a second down and two. The ball on the thirty yard line. That's pretty dead gum exciting when we get to call his number. Good job on the jet sweep, young man. Here's the snap. Handoff goes to Isaac Cervantes. Found a hole. He's Isaac's fighting. Uh, inside the twenty five, down near the twenty first down links. Oh, 
Ball on the 21-yard uh, line. That'll set up a first for the Lynx. Lynx lead 42 zip at this point. First down. Sloan is split off here on the near side. Shad Whiteley on the far side of the field. Davis in the shotgun. Here's the snap. Handoff goes to That's Cervantes. Cervantes again. Oh, blow it. Blow it. Jeez Louise. Forward motion took him inside the 20 to about the 17. Sets up a second down and six. And a four. Congrats. So let's just uh, keep the ball on the ground, run the clock. I think the wind's getting up. <clears throat> Here's the snap. Handoff goes to Mackey. Mackey's got running room around the far side. He's at the 15, gets inside the 15. Oh, through. Next little second effort there gets him down near the 12. Oh, they say 13. He's about a yard shy. So that'll set up a third. Yep, you're right, Slade. One yard. Third and one. Clock down to nine minutes remaining in the third now. Spearman moving back, kind of out of the wing tee, back to the spread. Whiteley and Knowlton here on the near side. Cy Davis on the far side of the field. Here's the snap. Handoff goes to Isaac. He's Isaac got that. And Isaac fights his way down inside the 10, first down link. So it'll be a first and goal inside the 10. Blaine Klafka into the game. That's what I miss. I miss my letterman and how warm that sucker was. I wish they made that. <laughs> but for adults. Two wide receivers on the near side. Handoff goes to Isaac. Isaac's on his feet. In. In for TD. <clears throat> Touchdown, Isaac. Cervantes from 10 yards out. And uh, inquiring minds want to know, uh, Slade, before you get going there, uh, hold on. All right. Inquiring minds want to know, just a question, which Knowlton boy has more yards rushing? Oh, easily. <laughs> easily. <laughs> Mr. Knowlton's out on the field. I have a – I never got a rush. I did. We played Highland Park. I did beg Mancini to get a rush, but – that did not happen. Anyway, that was your friend asking Kevin Bynum. No, okay, yeah. <laughs> no, he's definitely, you could call him the master of running and catching. But I definitely pancaked a whole lot more than he did. But with that, Hansford Hospital Pharmacy is your local good neighbor pharmacy located in Spearman at 710 South Roland. Directly across from the Hansford Hospital, Hansford Pharmacy has served the Hansford County residents for over 30 years, and we pride ourselves on providing fast, friendly, accurate service. Hansford Pharmacy proudly supports the Lynx and Lynx Ets. <coughs> Thank you, those guys. All right, 8.08 remaining in the third period here. Run Maybe. the ball. Hey, come on, one of them cheerleaders. That's not that far. Get that they ball. They can do it. They can get it up here. I bet up we here. Can get it. Where is she? Oh. Now, Lusby's got the arm. Yep. <coughs> I have faith. Or maybe not. I take that back. <laughs> yeah. There's the return. Chase. Oh, he's going backwards. Case in there. And Jack Pipkin. Pipkin to finish it. I don't know. He got up to the 25 and then just turned around. Went back to the 20. So with all of that... Uh, Kickoff return uh, went to negative. <laughs> negative five back to the 20, just outside the 20, actually. First down, Alpine. Score right now, if you're just uh, checking in, 49-0. Got eight minutes remaining in the third period of play. Here's the snap. 
Quarterback drops, fires right over the middle, complete at the 30, out to the 40. And ball comes out. Uh, but, yeah, he he grabbed her back real quick. Let it go. All right, hurry up. Come on. So he is uh, gets out to the 49-yard line, pass completion and a run after. First down Alpine at their own 48. Seven and a half minutes now remaining. Alpine taking a lot of time here. 16 minutes or 16 seconds on the play clock. Now down to 12. They are in no rush. Quarterback out of the shotgun. Here's the snap. Handoff to his running back. He gets into the secondary, into uh, Link's territory. Oh, he's fighting. Still on his feet, turning those legs down to the 40 yard line. First down, Alpine. So, uh, Bucks at the Lynx 41, first down. They must have had a little pep talk at uh, halftime. Yeah. They came out fired up. <laughs> so fired up, they let us score a touchdown. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> Six and a half minutes now. Everyone in tight. Link's showing the rush. Here's the snap. Oh! oh, and Jack Pipkin stops it immediately for another loss. Davis was. Oh, that was. Oh, Davis. that was. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> that wasn't a 88. That was a 16 slow Nolton, by was, golly. That was Pipkin and Nolton in on that. Good stuff. Sloan's having himself a game. That's great. 6.06. As the uh, Antelopes look to the sideline for some uh, marching orders. Second down now and a long 16. Out of the shotgun. Long snap count. Here's the snap. Handoff goes to the running back. Taken down by number 54 Isn't for the that Lynx. That is Mendoza? Jesus Almanza. Oh, Almanza. Jesus Almanza gets a big play. Good stuff. For another loss, that sets up a uh, third down and looks like about 18 now. Hmm. Well, they were moving the ball, Slade. Man in motion. Here's the snap. Handoff goes to the running back. He gets uh, to the 45. Oh, blow that whistle. There we go. And Jack was going to take him back to uh, for the a fourth. touchdown. Just yeah, pick him up and carry him into the end zone. <laughs> Sets up a fourth down, and uh, what's that going to be, Slade? 13? Yeah. So fourth and 13. You better be faking it. You can't be down 49 zip, and you're punting with fourth left in the third in a playoff game. Well, that's the <laughs> same kids back there, the yeah. same same boy that was punting. He's up a little short. But he is. Oh, and it's just, oh! Oh, get on that. That a boy, Bray. It was just a low line drive kick right into Bray, <laughs> Bray was, arm, or Bray uh, Quintez chest. <laughs> and uh, maybe they did have a game. Plan. Bobbled it a little bit. Yeah. They have. Okay, I'll take it back. Ball at the 30. Who? 32. 32-yard 32. 32 line of the Lynx. It's on the halfy. First down after the punt. 422 remaining in the third. Let's just keep the ball on the ground here, boys. Seaman in at quarterback. Here's the snap. Seaman hands off to Isaac. Isaac's got running room. He's uh, near out near the 45. And depending on where his knee went down, that's going to be close to the first. It still is. That, that one's gone in the first. They're moving it. There we go. Yep. First down, Isaac Cervantes out to the 43-yard line. Run that clock. 
And I'm wondering if they agreed to do the running clock. I'm going to go with they probably didn't, but who am I? Since it's playoff? Yeah. I don't know. He's also, that coach over there is also punting on like fourth and five. Seaman uh, out of the shotgun. Here's the snap. Handoff uh, goes to, I think we got a new new uh, running back in there, Slade. JP. All right, JP. John Paul. John Paul. John Paul Carvajal. That a boy, John. Picks up yard, second and nine. Yep, and so Carson in at QB, Carson Seaman. John Paul in at the halfback. Yep. He has grown. Jeez. <laughs> he used to be just, you know, a little. Yeah, he was. A little short. He took a growth spurt. Yeah, yes, he did. All right, here we go. Seaman out of the shotgun. JP back there with him. Here's the snap. Handoff goes to JP, oh. but number 78 is uh, in there immediately for the stop. Somebody missed a block up on the front line. Yeah, we may. 2.52 now, running the clock. Third down and 12 now. Ball back to the 42. That is a big boy up there to stop. Usually you have to go to extreme measures to take down someone about 300 pounds. Seaman again out of the shotgun. Mackey in motion. Pitch goes to Mackey. Kaysen's got a little running room over there on the far side. Gets Ooh. back uh, near the 50 before he's pushed out of bounds. Yeah, clock's still, clock's still running. Either he was in bounds or they did agree to a running clock. clock. Fourth down and four for the Lynx as the clock ticks down to two minutes. Yeah. This isn't. And uh, Maybe. Blaine. Oh, sorry. Blaine Klafka into the game. Yeah, maybe you do agree to running clock. I don't know that being down 49 zip would be the most exciting thing for Alpine in negative 32 weather, 32 degree weather. Timeout called. Taken by the Spearman Lynx. With that, Shield Night Land and Cattle Company is your source for locally raised wholesome beef for those Spearman athletes. Give us a call at 806-570-7932. Shield Night Land and Cattle proudly supports Lynx and Lynx Sets. Adobe Wallace Gin, located south of Spearman on State Highway 51, is proud to support Spearman athletic and academic students. For your cotton ginning services, call W. Wallace Gin at 659-2574. Drell Key and his crew say go Lynx <laughs> and Lynx Sets. <laughs> yeah, their engineering is impressive. The old Impose. man's. Old man's legs are giving out. I got to pull up chairs late. Well, fourth and four. Minute 34. Fourth and four. Ball on the uh, links 49. I don't think I don't. I don't see Davis out there. His size isn't out there snapping. Yeah, they're over there. Brother and brother talking to each other. They're going for it. Out of the shotgun, here's the snap. Direct snap to uh, Kaysen Mackey. Kaysen's at the 50, 45, still on his feet, 40, does a little juke move, gets down to the 35. Now they say he went down to 37, sorry. And got up. But he did get the first. Yeah, I was wide open over there. Little QB7. First down, Lynx. Minute. <laughs> Getting excited for once out here. <laughs> First time was that all year. Was that Choppo? It was. Woo! All right, here we go. Got wide receivers split off on both sides of the field. Seaman still in the QB slot. Here's the snap. Seaman on the keeper. Oh, that looked like a face mask to me, but nobody caught it, Slade. Nobody Seaman caught. picks up two. That'll set up a second and eight. Boy, the way his head jerked around, I thought for sure it must have been. 
Second and eight, the ball at the Alpine 36. J.P. Carvajal back into the game. Fourteen seconds. They're just going to let it run out. We're going to be at the end of three here with the Spearman Lynx leading this thing 49-0 in this area playoff game. No. Is this area? Yeah. Oh, I thought third around this area. No, by district and then area and then regional. Oh, okay. All right. Bartlett's now offers oak firewood to get your chimney going for the cold weather. <laughs> With the cold weather approaching, Bartlett's Lumber now has a Generac brand generators in stock. Don't get stuck without power to your appliances that may be useful when a power outage occurs. Please stop by and check them out. As always, Bartlett's would like to remind you to come on in and support our links by purchasing some purple lights to hang outside. Don't forget your purple porch lights as well. Go links. And links at well, I don't know what's going on with this uh, Randall Raiders and Lubbock Escado game. They still haven't posted any scores, and that hmm. game was supposed to have started at seven. But uh, if we can believe this app, Cisco Lobos fourteen to eight over the Stratford Elks in the fourth quarter. And early, and Canadian fourteen over early, six fifty-five remaining in the second. Winner of that game moves on to meet winner of this game. Wall over Childress, 20-3. to three. They're in the second quarter. Seaman at QB. Here's the snap. Handoff goes to JP. JP hits the right side of the line. There's the ball down to the 35, maybe a yard, yard and a half pickup. Sets up a third down and seven for the Lynx. Nolton in, Blaine Klafka out. Sloan uh, splits off on the far side of the field. Got Whiteley over here on the near side. Seaman out of the shotgun. Snap. Handoff goes to JP. JP's got running room on the far side of the field. Gets the ball down near the 25. I believe uh, JP picked himself up a first down, Link, uh, Slade. Yes. Also, I missed this. I said Byron was 0-2 on his speech records before playoff <laughs> meals. He is 2-1. There was just one <laughs> unfortunate speech, I guess, in there. He wanted to let you know about it. Yes, he did. <clears throat> so I, I will. Oh, and another shout-out we got to give. Uh, Mrs. Wilkerson, that's Callie Wilkerson at home, enjoying her fireplace, I'm sure. I was supposed to chat her out last night in the speech, but just couldn't happen. First down links, courtesy of J.P. Carvajal. Ten and a half minutes now remaining in tonight's game, folks. Seaman with the snap. Handoff goes to J.P. He does a little spin move. Picks up maybe one. Should set up a second and nine. You know, the nice thing about this, Slade, giving those JV guys a little playing time. JV guys. Some second team. Some second team guys who, they're all there. They all put in the work. So second and nine for the Lynx. Ball inside the uh, 30 at about the 26. Here's the snap. Seaman uh, on the keeper hits the line, moves it down to about the 25-yard line. Should set up a third and seven. Oh, this is exciting. It was a tough season, and these boys, good for them and getting some gold balls. Nine and a half minutes. Go ahead, Slade. Oh, Sorry. we've got some. I mean, there's two coaches that I played with. They're coaching now. Kind of crazy. but That is. Wilkerson and Reese. Yep. Reese is going to graduate. December, he said. Yep. And has a job at Spearman. <laughs> so, Seaman with the keeper. Seaman at the 25. Going to be forced out of bounds here on the near side, inside the 25. And the clock runs, Slade. Awesome. So, they have... 
Yeah, he was running out of bounds here on the near side. So the coaches have agreed to have the running clock. 49-0 the score. The ball now at the 23-yard line of Alpine. Fourth down and about six. Seaman at the QB slot. JP in the backfield with him. Here's the snap. Handoff goes to JP. JP works his way down near the 20. It's not going to be enough for the first, so the ball go over on downs. So Alpine will get the ball with 8.13. Now they did stop the clock for the change of the possession. So with 8.13 remaining in the game, Alpine takes over at their own 21-yard line. <clears throat> Clock's still ticking. Yeah, now yeah, it goes. <laughs> That's I don't think Alpine sends anything. wide receivers out on both sides, two to the far side, one here to the near. Working out of the shotgun, the QB takes the snap, drops. He's looking for a receiver, looks, looks. Now he's under pressure. He's going to be forced out of the pocket and taken down by... Who was that? Is that Cy? No, wait a minute. Yeah, 21. Now that's, that must be a. a Vicente Le Leiva. Vicente. Good job. Keep that clock a ticking. Seven and a half minutes remaining, folks. Alpine comes to the line of scrimmage, faced with a second and 13. Man in motion. Handoff goes to the running back. He's got running room this time. Going to be run out of bounds here on the near side. Well, not run out of bounds. That was he was tackled by good. Alex Martinez. He rolled out of bounds. I don't know where they'll. At the, at the Lynx 44. 44 yeah. Six and a half minutes. Same thing happened last week. Against Abernathy, had him down uh, 21 zip with just a, what do you say, just about a minute and 40 seconds or something left, and then they were able to score? Yeah, yeah. I think that's what the time was. <laughs> Out of the shotgun, wide receivers both sides. Here we go. Rolls to his right, being pursued by Leva. Triple off. Pitch. And tackled on the far side by number two. That's Curvin. Kervin Cazada. Now under six minutes to go. No pickup on that. Sets up a second and ten. The ball back at the 44. Lynx just uh, strung him out all the way to the side, almost to the sideline, and Kervin came in there and finished him off. Two wide receivers now come to the near side. Man in motion. Handoff goes to the running back. He's got uh, open field and taken down by Cy Davis. Boy, that was a nice save, Cy. Yeah, <laughs> There's nothing but green grass in front of that guy. <laughs> oh, first down Alpine. The ball inside of the 30 at the 29 now with 519 remaining in the game. First down, Bucks. 49 zip to score. Man in motion. Here's the snap. Handoff goes to the running back. He gets through the line into the secondary down to the 20. Boy, they take a long time to blow that whistle tonight. Yeah, they do. It's almost like it's frozen and they have to blow through it to, to warm it up and <laughs> unfreeze that little cork ball. Ball to 21, second down and two. I bet it's plastic now. <laughs> it could be. Well, I'll just show him my age. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Two wide receivers come to the near side here. Working out of the shotgun. Quarterback drops, looks, fires, got a man deep. Oh. Incomplete and almost picked off. 
Who is that? Uh, Martinez. Yep, by Alex. Cervantes with the coverage. Yep. It's up a uh, clock stop on that one for whatever reason. Maybe because they're within the 20 should be or something. I, well, they're not. Third down. Yeah, should be third Man down. across the field, he's not keeping up. Should third, be third down. down. Now the Fox referee tells him. Third down and two. Ball to 21. Man in motion, shotgun, handoff goes to the running back. Boom, he's hit at the line of scrimmage. He may have picked up the first. I believe he did. Yeah, that'll set up a first down for the Bucks. Ball outside the 15 at about the 17, yeah, about the 17-yard line. First down, Bucks at the Lynx 17. Here's the snap. Handoff, nope, pitch back goes to uh, 21. He's going to be taken down here on the behind the line of scrimmage by Leva and Seaman. Sets up a second down now and 16. Second and 16, the ball back outside the 20 at the 23. Three and a half minutes remaining in the game, folks. Lynx lead 49-0 in this area round. Next up, regionals. Man in motion, snap. Quarterback drops, looks, under pressure. Being chased now, just throws the ball away. I don't know that. I don't know that that was. That was almost <laughs> intentional, wasn't it? <clears throat> yeah, I don't know if that, that was a Ford pass. But, hey, who am I? Went out of bounds. Third down and 16. Clock, they did stop the clock on that one, oh, Slade. I see they've been stopping it. Back to the line of scrimmage. No wide receivers this time. Everybody in tight. Third down, snap. Oh, and that's unfortunate. Turf monster. Got him. That was close to almost unnecessary when 60 came in there. 250. 252. And a timeout called by Alpine with 250 remaining in tonight's game. Go ahead, Slade. Brown, Graham, and Company, when you need more than just an accountant, turn to Spearman's Trusted Professionals, Brown, Graham, and Company. Brown, Graham is located at 201 West Kenneth and Spearman. First Baptist, First Baptist Church Spearman sharing the gospel by loving God and loving people. Join us for a worship service every Sunday at morning at 1045 and children's and youth services every Wednesday at 6 and 6.30. Five-star equipment, your case IH and Zimatic dealer in Spearman knows that the future of our agriculture is in the hands of our youth. That's why we are proud to support the Lynx and Lynx Sets. Contact five-star equipment for all your agricultural needs. Phone number 659-3743. Many thanks to Richie and the crew for sponsoring these broadcasts. Got some scores? All right. Wall over Childress, 23-3 at halftime. Canadian 21-7 over early. They're about to end the second quarter. Uh, final, Cisco 14, Stratford goes out. Wow. So they they had a, a perfect uh, record. record going into that game. Of course, here 49-0. Working out of the shotgun, fourth down. Quarterback takes a snap, rolls to his right, looks, fires long. And that one's going to go incomplete. So the ball will go over on downs, 244. We'll have to play. Get a first down or two. But that'll be good. Hey, while we got a moment, let's run through the rest of our sponsors. <laughs> Frontier Feed Yard, Golden Spread Sales Company. Golden, Gordon's Fountain and Drug, Hanser County Hospital District, First United's Methodist Church, Spearman, KXDJ Radio, Patent Custom Fertilizer, Jeez Louise, I can't, Trendcore Enterprise, and Cervantes Tree Service, as well as Ramjack, West Texas. Thank hey, you. Kevin Ramjack. Slade wants you to know that he has more broadcast time than Sloan. Who? You. Oh, I have more broadcast time than Sloan? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Handoff went to JP, but uh, Alpine gets through the line pretty quickly, sets JP up for a huge loss. 
Yeah, I'm uh, sets up a uh, second down and 17. Are we professionals at this point? I don't know. Heck yeah. <laughs> Unpaid. Unpaid professionals. So the Lynx uh, have two minutes and 16 seconds to run off here to end this game 49-0 at this point. If there's, uh, but any. you can't let up. No, no. They're too close. I mean, it's inside. The ball's inside the 20 at the 17. You sure don't need a fumble here. Serve that goose egg. Here's the snap. Goes to uh, Carson Seaman. He'll just come to the right side of the line. Gets that back to out beyond the 20, not to the original line of scrimmage. Well, yeah, yeah they yeah, do yeah. give him to the original line of scrimmage. So that will set up a third and 10 with a minute 45. If there are any baseball teams listening, give us a shout. <laughs> I'd call some baseball radio. I'd call football radio professionally. All right, we got a wide receiver here on the near side, one to the far side, Seaman working out of the shotgun, two running backs in the back with him. And it's JP. He uh, works his way out to the 30. Fourth and five. So fourth and five. Or fourth and six, excuse me. Or fourth and four. Excuse yeah, uh, yep, it's going to be four. You're right. Ball on the 30-yard line. Got a minute remaining. Now 59 seconds. We need a first here. Yeah, our punter to is end this thing. out of commission. As right now, he's got his helmet off. Not that I think he was, he was out for the second half or back out for the second half. But. So they'll let her run down as long as they can. Play clock at three, two, one, and timeout. Awesome. So the timeout will be called by Spearman. Leaves 30 seconds. Now they can knee it, right? No. No, we went over this last week. So since. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Because since it's fourth down, yeah. the moment we're down, it's an automatic change of perception. Oh, you're right. You're right. Nothing just run around 30 seconds. Yeah, yeah, that'd be impressive, but yeah. Let's see, unless they have another punter, I don't know. Yep, 54. He's doing stretches. They're punting. Jesus Almanza. Jesus Almanza's back up with Davis out for the game. Not he was back out, let me repeat. Sure, they just didn't want to risk further injury. Yeah. No sense. They give him a week to rest. Yep. Here's the snap. Good snap. And, oh, a nice boot, too. Oh, my gosh. That rascal is going to hit at the 35. It is going to roll all the way down. Oh, why would you pick that up, son? <laughs> oh. <laughs> they were nice about that tackle. Oh, yeah. Jack Pipkin could have nailed him. He could have drilled him. <laughs> that was risky. I don't, oh, that hurt me. I thought it was a Lynx player, and then I realized that's a white jersey. So with 19 seconds remaining in tonight's game, folks, the Lynx uh, have this one 49 to zero. Alpine will come out, maybe get one play off, maybe two. Well, they're not very fast paced, so we'll go with one. And the Lynx will go home victorious in this area game, move on to regionals. The winner of the Canadian early game is who uh, the matchup will be next week. Have no information on a venue. Gold ball number two. Here's the snap. Quarterback drops. Of course, they're going to go for a Hail Mary here. Fires downfield incomplete. and incomplete. Ten seconds. Play broken up over here on the near side by several links. I do see number, our number 16 was in on that. So 49-0, the score, 10 seconds remaining in the game. Would not mind the run play here, Alpine. Here's the snap. Quarterback drops under pressure. Now just fades to his left. Now he's going to be still under pressure. Taken down, two seconds, one, zero. That's go. the game, folks. The Spearman Lynx. Move on to the regional round. 
having defeated the Alpine Bucks 49-0. We want to thank all of our sponsors. We certainly want to thank all of these fans. I'm sure that uh, Ernie can kind of get a shot of the, the stands to show how many fans did drive this, make this three-and-a-half-hour drive oh. down <laughs> here to support our links. There we are. You can there see we, we have a great turnout by the Spearman Lynx fans. The Spearman Lynx go home victorious, take home another gold ball. So sometime during the week, I'm sure that they'll be posting the venue and the time. So for now, on behalf of uh, Ernie Segala, Slade Knowlton, and myself, even got the youngest grandson in the booth tonight with us, Rylan Lozano. I'm Gary Ellsworth. We say good night. We'll talk to you next.